So we are going to make this right here. And off the bat, I don't know what the dimensions of it are, so I'm just going to kind of take a little guess. And I'm going to go to my standard primitive. I'm going to make a box. Oh, I'm in front view. That's not a good idea. I always do it from the top view so you know exactly the width and the height. That looks about right. So there's there's this t top piece and then we have, let's see here, here's the way to kind of determine how many um, segments you need. You start counting. You go one, there's one edge, it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to need eight edges for the front. So all you do is you go over here, oops, wrong edge. And there's eight edges right there. Then we're just going to go and we're going to say, how many do we need up? Just going to go one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm not counting these ones in the middle because I'm going to model those individually. So I'm going to say five. Then I don't think I need any um, on the side here. The side is actually pretty easy. Um, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to convert this to edible poly and now I'm just going to start moving things around so if you notice here there's an edge and there's an edge and there's an edge so I'm just going to grab this edge here go to my move command and I'm going to move it over and I'm just going to you know I'm going to guesstimate this right here so I'm just going to move this one over and that one's pretty long so I'm going to grab both of these, I'm going to hit R and I'm going to scale these close together just like that and I'm just going to move it over and this one right here I look like I got an extra one here okay that happens from time to time so all I'm going to do is I'm going to loop this, hit backspace, switch back to vertex, and that's how you get rid of additional segments that you don't want. And I'm just going to move this one over, and I'm going to move this one just a little bit more to get that shelf to look a little bit longer there. And then this one's going to go up, and again, that's for this top piece right here and then we're just going to move these individual pieces as need be just move that one right there to make that piece and this one these two right here are pretty big the rest are the same size so all I have to do is just just grab and try to get that same size right there if um, if you make a mistake there are ways to correct it and it looks like ah crap I'm missing an edge because right now I only have one two three and there's four, five, so see here, one, or one, two, three, so I need two more. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to quick slice, and I'm going to cut a piece. Now be careful with quick slice, because if you go like that, oops, so you have to click, and click again, so you need to click twice. And there's my two extras that I need right there. Now I'm just going to move this one up just a little bit, and this one up just a little bit. I, did I get one too many in there? I think I did. I don't think I needed this one. Yeah, that happens. So I'm just going to move this one down to make the bottom edge there. And there we go. There's the top there. And this one, we don't, we're just going to grab that one as a whole. Don't worry about that. We'll get to it. So now I have the setup here. Now to make the top piece, the top piece extrudes outward, not in, you know, it doesn't come out the sides here, it just comes out the front. So I'm going to hit 4, and I'm just going to grab all of these right here. And then I'm going to right click, extrude, and I'm just going to extrude it just a little bit, not too much. So there's the front right there. Now. I'm going to go here and I'm going to create 
the beginning look here and it looks like I might have messed up again might have let's see here this is actually gonna need to come up because I got I forgot about this piece right here and this piece needs to go up a little bit this happens I do this sometimes you might want to use your grid when doing this too because your grid is going to help you and I'm just going to do a quick slice Here's my quick slice can't see it there it is okay so now I'm going to grab this face here and I'm going to pull this face out and I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to select this face here and I'm going to delete it. So now I have two faces here. I have one right here. Let me hit a 40 size to see what I'm doing here. I have one right here. This is going to be my drawer right here. Okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit 3 because 3 is border. And I'm going to create the face. So now you have that face right there just like that. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to cap it. Just like that. Now, I can take it right back in. And notice it sticks out just a little bit here. Those do too. That's perfectly fine. Now, instead of sitting here and going, oh, oops, I need to now select this one and do the same thing. Now, nah, just delete it. Hold down shift. And there you go. And then this one is a different size one, but guess what? We can do it again here. We're just going to hold shift and drag it down. And then we just go here, select the edges, and bring it up. Less work, less is better. last one here and I'm just going to bring this one down when, when you do clone to object that means you're cloning to the same object but it's like a separate piece it's like a separate object and there we go there's my drawer system right there that's at least the drawers and here's the cool thing right Again, I'm going to grab these ones all right here. I'm going to delete them. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit 5 so I can select all these objects right here. And I'm going to drag them over just like this. Try to line them up right on that line right there. Right, right here. I'm watching right up here. Clone to object element. Hit 1. And done. So now all of those look like I made one little oops that's okay I'll fix that later so that's what I have so far right there okay I have the drawer system ready to go now if I want to I can do this one this one's a different one this one I'm gonna do and I'm gonna look here and this is actually like a pull out drawer which is a little bit different pull this out again Select these pieces here, delete them, hit 5, select this whole piece, bring it back in just a little bit here, hit 3, select them all, there we go. So now I have the beginning of this right here. The wheels, you're just going to do cylinders. Don't try to do anything, you know, fancy with that. This right here is just going to be using a torus ring. So you're just going to go to create, torus. Make sure you're in your top view here. Don't try to do it from your, you know, any other view but your top view. Create the torus there. And uh, you can make the radiuses just a little bit smaller. And I believe with this one you can slice on it. And 
at this point I'm going to lower how many segments I have. Convert to edible poly. And then I'm just going to resize all this right here. It's like being kind of like a surgeon. You just got to be real careful about what you're trying to do. And you can make pretty much anything with just these standard primitives here. That's not a really good one. I wouldn't be proud to use this in a model, but that's this is just kind of giving you an idea of how to do it. And if you want, it's a lamer version, but whatever, it works right now. You guys get the point. And uh, like again, when you do the wheels, you just create the. Uh, oh, you need with the uh, the handles now. Yeah. yeah, that's the hard part. The handles is going to be the hard part. Um, I'll actually do it with just a box and I'm going to do it from the left view here. I'm going to just grab a box. Last thing I'm going to do and then uh, if anybody else has anything else, it doesn't matter how long it is, just make it any length and then just move it where it needs to go. We'll just start with this one right here. Then just look at it here. It looks like it kind of goes in, or it goes in, back out, and then down, and then in, back out. This is actually pretty, this is going to be a real easy one here. I'm going to give this one about, uh, do two segments. And that's it right there. Convert to edible poly. Grab these two middle ones, hit R, and then if I want to make the front look a little nicer, bevel it, and there you go. And obviously that's not long enough, just grab those edges there and just drag them out. And then drag down. And then just do the same thing again here, except just drag it over. And obviously, at this point, rather than and the, the uh, long laboring way, just grab them all and stretch them out like that. Ah, went too long. And then just grab one of these, bring it over, Rotate it. I would be doing these on um, instance, by the way, because if you need to change one in the future, it'd be better to change them all and be done. Good. Come on. And there you go. That's how you create that.